would ever consider trading in their disc brakes for drum brakes on an old race car. It's supposed to be the other way around, isn't it? Well, um, I would. The Ultimus Dealer experience is all about embracing the true complexity of owning a classic sports car and using it. I try my best to present everything as readily usable while still retaining the full value and quality. The homologation file, start of the season. And if you get it, I love it. Now, as you can see here, I am um, taking my brakes apart, not because they, uh, there's anything wrong with them, but just because I want to show you uh, that I've uh, gone from disc brakes. These are the discs and the calipers of the early generation girling type. This is what I would call a second generation uh, disc brakes with the external uh, tubes and it's a quite heavy setup uh, they wanted to make sure that it, uh, it could stand the, the forces and here I have the homologation file from 1956 for the Giulietta Sprint Veloce the type of car I'm trying to build here in the brakes chapter it says then that for the front brakes there are two possibilities there's one with the two shoes one with three shoes the three shoe is my setup with 70 millimeter uh, width and 266 um, diameter. This is the uh, the original first type, also fin drums that you see on the normale, but it's also uh, homologated for the for the Sprint Veloce. In the rear, you can have uh, the old type, two uh, 54 diameter and 45 width, two shoes, or you can have what was actually the front setup for the normale with the two shoes and 57 millimeter uh, brakes. Now um, let's look into uh, what's in my car. front brakes. Uh, this is an aluminium drum, so uh, there need to be a, a steel plate to take up the load of the wheel. And two screws here hold this the drum in place, just for safety reasons. Otherwise, it's uh, it's located by the same four bolts that hold the reel. And this is uh, the front side uh, evacuation. <laughs> and it just slides off here. It has a lot more uh, braking area because of the width. This is seven centimeters. And it has the high diameter as well. It's quite light, it's aluminium, and there's a steel insert here. Alfa Romeo said they took out a patent to make this uh, drum in one uh, in, uh, found in, uh, in the foundry, uh, aluminium foundry, where they could uh, make these ribs and take the, the, the part out of the of the form. Now the, the the internals are quite exciting. As you can see, it has uh, three shoes and uh, three separate uh, pistons here. And actually, the 
the drum brake and the disc brake, they fit on the same spindle. But this is uh, uh, Alfa Romeo's own setup for drum brakes. It was uh, perfected by the time uh, this uh, drum brake setup came out. And they were a bit reluctant to go to disc brakes, just like many other uh, Italian uh, car makers. Over the winter, um, I got the brakes uh, refurbished at Skattebølle. Uh, Stefan Madsen, he did it in a really nice way. There are some fabulous uh, pictures on my website. And one of the things he did was uh, remove uh, an extra rim that was on this uh, rear dust plate. Uh, so now it's uh, open all the way around and uh, I don't think that's a better way to do it actually. And it uh, looks uh, really good. This allows uh, heat and uh, uh, most importantly uh, dust to escape from the, from the drum. And I think it looks uh, really good. Uh, I made some calculations here on the back side of an envelope. Uh, just to tell a bit about uh, what kind of brakes these were and how good they actually were. Now in the beginning of the 50s and middle of the 50s uh, Mercedes-Benz came out with their 300 SL the Goldwing, and it was considered a very uh, very good sports car. Um, and if I, if I take the the, the brake uh, lining uh, total area of the Mercedes, it is uh, 1470 square centimeters. 1470. The Sprint Veloce has a total area of 1690 square centimeters. A lot more uh, braking uh, area. Uh, on top of that, the Sprint Veloce was uh, much lighter than the Mercedes. So, uh, if I calculate that into uh, how many kilos per square centimeter the brakes had to manage, the Mercedes was at 0.88 kilo per centimeter, whereas the Veloce was at uh, point. 5.4 kilos per square centimeter. So it was actually a, a very efficient brake system, um, especially when you consider it, uh, compare it with uh, the best of the best. The setup of the, the braking system is what is called a leading edge shoe. It's uh, pivoted here at this end and pivots this way from this piston and that means that when the wheel is rotating this way that it actually uh, cuts into the into the brake whereas if it was a trailing edge it would be a, a more mundane uh, braking experience so it's a very uh, efficient setup These are the rear brakes. There's a, a steel plate here to take up the load from the from the wheel when it's uh, mounted. Other than that, the, the drum is aluminium. That's why the steel plate is there. And Again, with an, uh, with an iron, a, a steel uh, insert, and this, yeah, they also uh, finned for cooling. This is the the narrow one. This is the original uh, brake setup for the rear on the Sprint. It's uh, 254 diameter and four and a half centimeter width, with one. Piston. It's a, a girling piston. The braking is, is of course done by uh, the brake pedal, and uh, in this car it's uh, what's called a standing pedal setup. Uh, there's this uh, rack for the clutch and brake pedal in uh, the bottom of the car. And uh, here on the firewall in the engine bay, 
we have the brake fluid reservoir. It uh, feeds via this uh, hose here, it's a braided hose, directly into the brake cylinder on the immediate back side of the brake pedal. So uh, there's no brake booster and it's a single circuit uh, setup, meaning that uh, I have this opportunity to brake the car and if it fails, uh, I better think fast. technical parts and fiddling with the bits. Now it's time to see how uh, brakes from the 1950s, top of the pops brakes from the 1950s actually perform. Let's go and do a brake test. I found four orange cones in the garden from the boys uh, soccer practice and I set them up on this uh, piece of road as 40, 30, 20, 10 meters from this white pin where I will apply the brakes. And I will accelerate to a steady 80 km per hour in uh, this piece of road here. That should be possible. The manual says that the car should be able to stop from 50 miles per hour in 36 yards. That's uh, 80 kilometers per hour in 33 meters. My best stop was maybe 28 meters. And it must be because of uh, the modern rubber in my tires. I'm satisfied. That went okay, I think. It's a bit uh, difficult. <laughs> 